each game we do use one of each animal card. All the A cards, I'll go over them real quick. With the bears, we basically want to set up and score for pairs of bears that are not touching other bears. Pretty straightforward, and the more pairs we have, the more points we can score. The elk, it likes to be in straight lines, uh, so you can score depending on how long the lines are. Each elk may only score once for a uh, for one line, so you can have a line of one and a line of three for different elves. Uh, the salmon, you just want a really long run, as long as possible. The longer it gets, the more points it's worth. Well, thanks for stopping by, Daniel. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful evening and a wonderful week if I don't get to talk to you again. But yes, I'm sure I will have fun. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite go-to solo games. Uh, the Hawk enjoys flying solo. So just like the solo game, they want to uh, soar and not be adjacent to any other Hawks. Red Foxes, um, this one basically you're scoring for as many different animals touching it. Uh, foxes are allowed to touch it, but you want to basically have variety around it and each fox actually scores. So you could have two adjacent foxes and they score for each other. Really helpful that way. There's a lot of potential here. So we're gonna, uh, I, had, I have not looked at these tiles yet. So I'm ready to basically jump into playing. I got my starting tile out here. I'm gonna flip over and we're just gonna jump into it. So I'm gonna go and reveal these. Each of these is a terrain tile that shows a certain type of animal that is allowed to be placed on it. Now each of these is also going to get a, an animal token below it. See if I can turn it in a good direction. If y'all prefer to see it vertical, I'm looking at it somewhat sideways because it's over to my side, so I'm aiming it this way. So typically you're gonna have a row of these. You're going to draft or select one paired up set of them. So one tile, one token, and then add it to your tableau, which our tableau starts with our starting tile, which is going to have three different uh, terrain setups with animals on each. Okay, that's probably in a good position. I can shift the whole tableau as I need to. So every time you draft something, you place the terrain and you place the token somewhere in your tableau. The token you select does not have to go on the tile you just selected. So you want to make use of combining your terrain side by side because you score points for larger connecting terrains that match you then also score for the cards that are out for the game and then if you place a token on one of these singular ones with the arrow on top they're basically considered keystone you get one of these tokens score your point at the end of the game or you can spin this and draft something that's not paired up so i could take say this tile and this token instead of the set that are together allowing me a little bit more options and it might score me more to turn in that one point for a higher scoring setup that I might need. So this that's all it really takes is I'm going to take something, add it here. Now in the solo mode, I will be removing the farthest from the stack out of the way to basically say, okay, acts like someone else is playing, is taking something. So if I take this, second one goes. If I take any of these, this far, this left one shifts out of the row. And then each round, I'll refill it as well. Pretty straightforward. Very easy to do. So this can play very fast. It's supposed to be about a 45 minute game. So let's see how well we fit that in. I bet we can do it in 45 minutes while streaming, talking to y'all, hanging out together. Now there is a bag of all of the animal tokens. Very nice bag. All these tokens are wooden. They show the different animals on them. I do my best to actually draw them randomly without looking. I try to have the bag somewhat where y'all can see it on screen with me. Where's a good spot that doesn't block anything else here and show I'm not cheating anyway. But I have no reason to cheat myself. I want to enjoy the game and push myself to achieve 
the score or beat it for the scenario. Now the scenario, it wants me to get at least 80 points. Sounds easy enough considering the last time I played, I scored 91 points for my first solo game on stream. So let's get into this. Um, a lot of scoring options. Let's see what we got out here. Foxes have a decent amount of potential alone because uh, you can score up to five points each. So getting that fox here in the middle wouldn't be terrible. Uh, of course, salmon, the more you get a lot more points. So I don't know. The elk don't seem as enticing to me, even though I do see several out there. So if I take the fox now, I mean, it's taking this tile. It's elk and salmon. I could set myself up for a salmon run over here. Um, if I take the salmon, I'd set myself up for more foxes and potentially bear pair. Right now I'm looking at either bear pair or start my salmon run with this one. This is great for a fox or an eagle, but eagles, I'd have to really go all in it. Individual eagles all around my tableau. So I'm thinking my strongest, well, the one I prefer more because of the tile color. And I can add it to salmon run. Because I have my prairie and my wetlands here. I can match up to here. I'm going to take that set. So first I'm going to place my tile. And you can rotate it as you choose. I'm going to do this. So now our prairies my wetlands match up. This will help me score for a big, the, the biggest uh, continuous set of each of these that I create the landscape and now I can place my fox. I only have one place where the fox can go so it will go here. Now only one animal can go on each tile. So then I'm going to take this farthest left in the tableau. If you're drawing the opposite way, be the farthest from the stack that goes out and it will not be used now. So I'm going to shift and then add more into it. So there's a salmon, and what are we going to get? Another elk. Maybe I should have gotten elk. Um, I can at least go one elk. Now that I know this elk is going to move out regardless. I'm going to lose an elk no matter what. I don't want to get started on my salmon. Salmon's going to help run here and help the fox. So I'm going to do that. And that gives me another option for eagles. If I go eagle in a little bit to come around here next to No. I'll do this. Well, no. Now, like we talked about terrain, you want to match it as most as best as possible when you can. So I'm going to keep doing that. So I got bear, bear option, salmon, salmon, elk, elk, eagle. So I don't want to cover that one too soon. Bears are nice in pairs. I said I don't care as much about the elk, so I'm going to cover the elk option first. I'm going to lose this one. Okay, so here's another keystone tile that just has fox on it. So if I end up playing a fox onto that, or if I take it and then play a fox onto it at some point, that's when I get the bonus token. Okay, so we've got an eagle out and we got fox out. I'm liking both of those options. I could go eagle over here, set myself for a fox over here. Continue that, yeah. It really is what I like the most. So it continues the wetlands. Eagle can come over here and lose that tile. Shift, shift, shift. And we're basically going to play until we run out of tiles to draw from. I do my best to kind of talk through the turns I'm taking 
what choices I'm making. So maybe what we'll do here, we know we want the fox here. That's going to help us out. That does give us another fox option, bear option. But we'd have to choose between which landscape it touches. This salmon I could actually put on itself. Continue the salmon run. This fox I can grab next round. Well, it doesn't matter which order I take it in. See, I can't do this right now because I don't have a place to put an eagle. Don't have a place to put an elk unless I take that tile. It'd have to immediately go on itself. Because I don't want to lose that fox yet. I'm going to take the salmon first, just to start preparing my run so I don't lose out on it. I'm going to do this down here so I have a chance to connect my prairies. Wetland continues. I'm going to place salmon down here. That allows me to still potentially get a bear pair later. We're going to do the shift. Draw, okay, salmon. And fox only. Okay, this might get, be where it gets a little bit harder. Okay, well, salmon on salmon is a great option to see. Fox is good. Lose the eagle. Allows us to grab salmon next. Or potentially bear next. Yeah. Do this. Um, just so I don't miss out on it, I'm going to place this here continue my prairies fox down to get this this is gonna be give me some flexibility now the eagle goes so now here's where it's gonna be a little bit of a tricky decision oh another single salmon uh, salmon fox salmon eagle well I could go salmon salmon down here continue my run even though it's gonna limit my fox um, unless if I really wanted to have fun with this, go and spend this to grab salmon token up here and then grab a different, That fox one isn't bad because we're playing into foxes again, like we talked about. I could play that up here. I could use the bear to get the salmon salmon. Because there's salmon up there. Yeah, let's try that out. Then I'm going to place the forest up here to potentially stretch my foxes forward and up and around bear this one first which gives me another one of these clear that slide two more trials salmon bear okay I could immediately go, you spend one of those salmon off of that, get the token back, gets rid of, push a fox and push an eagle tile, which I don't care about. Unless I want to open up my eagle elk options. Bear up there. So what I'm going to do is grab this pair so I can be ready for an eagle, extend my terrain around this fox so I can open that up, 
cover the salmon spot here. I'll warp for a bear up here. Lose that one. He's going to slide to the left. Cha cha real nice now. Okay, and two more of these. Foxy Roxy, well. Salmon, I can't place him unless I get a salmon tile. Bear, I'd have to get a bear tile. Fox on fox. Or fox out here already. Take an eagle, can go here. Opens up my bear option up top. So I could ignore these. Take bear and that now. Guarantee your pair. I could take this an eagle now. That would shift this one. That one bear to that. Yeah. What I'm gonna do I'm gonna spin one of these that allows me to take a mismatched pair. So I'm gonna place the only problem with this, I don't want it to touch an eagle. Probably shouldn't have done that. No, don't want to do that because that breaks my terrains too. I will spend a mismatch to take. Eagle in this tile, which allows me to continue my prairies over here and a better chance to edge this out. My eagle can go over here. These slide the farthest left, the uh, farthest away still move. These slide down together. But it's also shifting the tile tokens that are together. This next set. Eagle. Okay, so I could go bear down here. Salmon won't work this way because it has to straight line. So this one is, is going to have to be fox or elk. This fox has one, two, three, four adjacent, so I won't get an elk next to it, so it's going to be four points max. One, two, three. If I could go bear next to it, potentially. Take this fox bear, place for bot uh, bear. Here, fox can go here, get my token back. I'd lose the bear token. Which I'm okay with. Yep. So I'm gonna do this. Continue my mountain. That way. Now I'm gonna give myself options. Place the fox here, which gives me that token now. Lose that. Slide to left. Tiles. Bear salmon. Uh, eagle don't need not enough, so I paired it differently. Get the bear. Bear mountain. Fox and elk. Wouldn't be terrible. Elk on elk down here. Or I could put salmon on it. So bear, but it'd be fox and eagle.
I do like the bear so I can guarantee a pair. Eagle don't want some parallel location. Spend one of these to mismatch for the salmon. And I'm going to get it placed down here. Let's see if I can connect some stuff in a minute. With that, I want the salmon on it. Continues my salmon run. Helps, doesn't necessarily score more for the fox, but it also does a shift with these. There's that shift. One, two. Fox and salmon again. Okay. Take this one. I can set myself up to. Then elk. Maybe do a short line at least. Get the bear I needed. Yep, I'm gonna do that. Cause here I want bear or elk. Over here I could elk line or fox these. What if I just did this? Print walk on that one. There we go. There's that. Slide. Okay, we're about halfway done at this point. Eagle Fox. Don't have a place to place an eagle, so unless I use them in match match. Same, I don't have a good place for Fox. I do have a place for. Hello, hello, how are you today? Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Currently I'm playing Cascadia. I'm playing scenario number one, which is all A cards. And the goal to beat the scenario is get at least 80 points. I'm about halfway through it right now. So let me know if you have any questions about it. This is essentially a tile token drafting game and tableau building. So currently I'll be drafting one pair uh, tile and token and then adding it to my tableau. The token does not have to go on the tile you take. Or if you, when you earn these keystone bonus to uh, tokens, you can spend them to select a mismatched pair that are not next to each other. So currently some of my scoring options I want pairs of bears that are not touching other bears. Oh yeah the, the graphics and the, the artwork in this is amazing. It was done by Beth Sobel which of course she's done Wingspan. Uh, she also did the artwork for Wicked and Wise which is currently on Kickstarter and other stuff that I'm forgetting right now but everything I've seen that she's worked on is amazing. And I was told that she posted some pictures from actual Cascadia Mountains today. So I kind of want to go back and see how they compared to some of this artwork that she did. Uh, I was need to decide which uh, pair I want to take. Uh, Fox, I have a couple places for. I don't have 
I have one place for salmon, but it won't help with the scoring. Eagle, I don't have an open spot for. Fox, I, again, I could take. So the only way I can make the eagle work is taking this tile using my bonus token. And eagles, I don't want touching each other. Salmon, I want the longest continuous run. Foxes like to be a, uh, adjacent to as many different animals for this card. Elk, basically, straight lines of elk score. So the fox, I could put another fox over here. Only be one point. Two points up here. Uh, do I want another eagle? Because you're also trying to match the background terrain. Because the larger those sections are, the more points you can score. Because you score for the largest of each one. So of the five... Uh, five different terrains you score of the largest uh, total of each one. Now, like right now, um, my mountains is only th uh, three. That'd be three points. My waters are only two. But over here, my wetlands one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's also extra additional scoring if you get seven or more in it playing solo. So there's finding that balance of which ones you want to take and when. I uh, don't want my eagles touching, so that was one I didn't want. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spin this so I can take a mismatch. I'm going to take the eagle in that tile. It's going to force those to shift down. Solo game will always take the farthest from the stack. And then I'll place these before revealing the next set. So what I'm doing here with this, placing it up here. Continuing my mountains and my forest. Eagle I'm actually going to place on it. That's going to help me score another eagle. And help with my... Uh, well, it doesn't help with that fox. Just because there's only an eagle next to it. But then we just reveal two more. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. It's a pretty straightforward game. Uh, it's kind of thinky. Uh, I don't know if you've played Calico before. It's very puzzly, and the more you think about it and how it all intertwines is where the strategy comes from. Rules are straightforward, but it can be thinky, especially as you get to the extra cards, because there's about five of each of these animal cards. So they vary how, how it scores. Okay, next up, salmon on salmon elk. Wouldn't be bad. I'd continue it here if I had to. Fox. Did I want another fox? That would be a three point fox. No. Go elk there up here. Wouldn't help. Now, some of these tiles only show one animal on them. So, when you actually place the animal token onto that tile, is how you get the bonus uh, keystone token. So I've done a couple of those, is how I already had some of the tiles. So like if I really wanted to, I could take this uh, hawk with the hawk tile and place it and immediately get a bonus token. But part of it, that terrain, I want right here touching these, and those already have hawks on them, so it's, it may not help with my scoring. So salmon and salmon elk may be my best play. Because right now, one, two, three, four, if I add another, it's at least a four point salmon. Foxes placed. And the best fox I could place would be a one point fox. Unless I can set myself up for some extra elk. I don't see coming out yet, so I'm going to extend my salmon run. I think is my strongest play. Try not to block myself, even though it doesn't help my terrain at all. I 
Doesn't help my terrains, but it does help my salmon run. I'll lose that one. Slide. Two more tokens. Okay, well, there's an elk that we've been looking for right there. That gives me a salmon bear option up here. I like that. Yeah. Easy decision this time. Put the elk over here that's going to surround the fox and help me out there. And then prepare myself to continue my salmon run this way. And it helps with my waterway. There's that stack. Two more. Elk and salmon. Okay, hold on. Talked about wanting salmon. I wanted more bears. That's a another salmon tile. Like I said, don't want the eagle right now. Well, unless I placed it here. That dropped the bear. I'm trying to really pan the bear right now. It'll leave the elk. Open with salmon fox on it. So that salmon would give me an elk tile, which I could do here. You know, well, let's let's go for it. I'm gonna take that now. I'm gonna put the salmon down that I talked about. Put this elk up here. Continue my forest, potentially make a, a straight run of elks here. Don't worry about the hawk. Now, if I wanted to, I could take a bear, place it here. Don't care as much about that right now. Elk, go here, salmon, run. Could continue here. Or we'll continue my prairie. But that's doesn't want my salmon. Uh yeah, I'll be able to push my salmon longer. This hawk doesn't have place to fly. Bear. Bear down. Continue that. Take this now. Set myself up for a bear here and continue my wetlands. I want the bear over here because they want those salmon. I'm gonna lose this bear. Slide it left. Okay, we're getting really close to the end. Maybe what? There's two or four. Maybe I have four turns, give or take. Okay, so now if I take this elk, I can go here. Bear could go here, but I want salmon on that if possible. I'm going to take these. Yeah, I'm going to do these. Put my elk up here, give me a the token. Let's see where I'll place this now. Place that to continue my force. Maybe I can get a, a fox out there or something later. I'm gonna lose that. Slide to left. Okay, so we got foxes. We got bear. Bear could go here. Salmon. I see. Couple of foxes out. I got open foxes. Bear for the what's cool for the fox. And then I'd be looking for two more pairs to score both my bears. And I got one two turns after this, so the likelihood of that's low. The fox here scores me at least two points. Grabbing the salmon. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a five-point salmon. 
I got um, I could push my what my rivers fox if I said two point continue my wetlands for another point potential for salmon yeah I'm gonna go for the fox salmon play here so I'm gonna push my wet ones into that fox. It's guaranteed two points. Yeah, fox over here. Where's that one? Slide. And I should have one more turn after this, based on the way. Game ends the same way as multiplayer. Exactly 20 turns. And I've grabbed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18. Yeah, this turn, one more. So I think easy play here. Grab the salmon while I can. Eagle play is three point salmon to five. Ooh, but do I want a different tile to set myself up for anything? Because I could spend one point for a different type of tile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, if Salmon doesn't come out, I can grab Eagle next round. Yeah, I'm going to spin this to take Salmon and take this. Now, that what this allows me to do, I'm going to place here, uh, pushing my wetlands and prairies to be longer. Salmon's going to go here, surrounding the fox. There's those two slide. Okay, here's going to be last turn. Salmon tile. Tokens, one, oh, salmon. And elk. Okay, so if I want fox here, it's one. A hawk. Would be worth give me three additional points. If a salmon run is seven or more, it's salmon amount one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I don't want any more salmon then. If I pull the hawk, three points, fox, one, one. The elk don't have an open elk tile anyway. Salmon on salmon be two points plus the token. One, two, three, four, four, six to here. Seven would add points. I think it's two points for in game scoring on two point bonus for each habitat with a group of seven or more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I grab this, get it here. These, uh, now I put it here. Be a single run of salmon for two, plus the habitat token one, plus two, that's a five point play. No place for an elk. The hawk I said was plus three. Plus one. Yeah, salmon. Put it up here. Don't want these salmon touching. Put it here. That gives me that token. Oh, y'all can't really see that. I just realized that. My bottom token right here. See if I can slide this tableau up a little bit for y'all. A little bit hard for y'all to see. There we go. Now y'all can see the full completed system. I realized I was getting off screen there for a moment. Took out only the last few tiles. But this will be an easy way to walk through the scoring as well. So we got our handy 
scorer pad that they provide. Always grateful for those. So we're gonna go, I know I did this solo, so I'm just gonna mark solo. I'm gonna go scenario, I'm gonna mark actual scenario on it, number one. It's the only points we can get for this. So first we're gonna score for bears. So the bears score for their, the number of pairs of bears with no bears next to them. I have one pair, so that's a four point set for the bears. Elk, now you score for straight lines. Each elk can only score once. I only have one run of two, a run of two is five. Salmon, so this is for each run per salmon. So this first round is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven or more is 25 points. A run of one is two points, so it's 27 points total. Hawks. You score for each hawk that is not adjacent to any other hawk. Now I missed it that last time. Well, it was actually a four point play, but I still maximized that last turn. So I have one, two, three different hawks. All of them are not touching the other hawks. So in this case, one, two, three, that's eight points for hawks. Last but not least on animals are foxes. Foxes score for a number of unique adjacent animal types. Uh, foxes do count. So we're gonna go a fox at a time, count them up. I'm gonna start with this fox. There's one, two adjacent to that. And then this fox has salmon, fox, and fox. That's three for that one. This fox has fox, fox, bears, and salmon. So four. And this fox has fox, hawk, elk, bear, four. So in total, foxes earned us. 6, 9, 13 points. So all in all, for the wildlife so far, we have 4 plus 5 is 9, plus 27 is 36, plus 8 is 44, plus 13 is 57. So let's see how our terrain scored us. Now a reminder, any uh, you're going to score once for each terrain type for the largest section of that terrain you have. And any terrain that has at least 7 in a solo mode, you'd get two additional points. If you're playing multiplayer, there's a majority rule scenario that I'm not hitting on right now, since I'm just playing solo. So first off is the uh, mountain regions. My largest mountain sector, so I have a two, and I have a one, two, three, four, so that's four points. Next up is forest. I have a one, a one, a two, or a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven points plus two because it's at least seven. Next up is my prairie. I have one, uh, so that's a two. This is a one because it's not touching in that corner. I have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on this one. So again, seven plus two. Next up is my wetlands. This is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine plus two. And then my rivers, I have a one or a one, two, three. So let's add up my habitats. So four plus seven is 11, plus two is 13, plus seven is 20, plus two is 22, plus nine is 31, plus two is 33, plus three is 36. So total score is gonna be 57. Oh wait, last but not least, I do get a point for every one of these tokens I have, which I do have one of. Total score, 57 plus 36 is going to be 93 plus one is 94. So that right there, I beat the scenario. The scenario wants you to have at least 80 points.